Hi, it's Dan Cooper here from Protos Expert, and I've got myself a copy of Relayer by UVI. Relayer is a delay plugin that, in my opinion, completely rethinks and reintroduces the traditional delay effects for today's modern producer in need of quick workflows, adaptive sonics, and familiarity. UVI have achieved this by quite literally including all the features that often get spread across different delay products by different developers. UVI have managed to include as many useful features as possible, all within one powerful and intuitive design. Now I'm not too sure about you guys out there in production land, but I've noticed over the years that my plugin delay folder has been fairly bare, so I was quite excited to see a new delay plugin that seems to do it all. So let's have a look around the interface. Now if you use UVI plugins you'll recognise the design as it has a uniform look and feel to their brilliant reverb Sparkverb. The interface is large and clearly laid out which is always a win for me. Starting at the top right we have the wet and dry controls. Relayer can be used either as a direct insert on a channel or as an aux sends. For use as an insert on a channel you'll need to leave this S button off giving you the control of both the dry and the wet controls. If you were to use Relayer in an AUX send configuration, you'll simply need to turn on this S knob, which will disable the dry control with the wet being set to 100%. I'm going to be using this in an insert configuration, so I'm going to turn that off, bring the wet down and keep the dry at 100%. I recommend to those who first try Relayer to have a good play through the presets, as it will give you a good understanding of the versatility and sonics that can be achieved. The presets can be found at the top here. So let's show you around. Jumping over to the left we have the usual suspects starting with Sync. So either we can set Relayer to work with the project's tempo, being the host, in beat divisions or time divisions. The time knob at the top will change with your choice of sync. Repeats let you dial in how many delays you want to occur, which you can see as I turn up the value. This is displayed in the middle of the interface. Feedback lets you set how many times you want the repeat to continue after the repeat pattern. So feedback is very useful for getting that continuous tape delay effect. For now, I'm going to keep the feedback set to zero and come back to that later. Down at the bottom right, we have colour, which we can turn on and off here, with a mixer slider beneath. Think of colour as an effect that is applied to the repeats and feedback within Relayer. So we can have a choice of reverbs, speakers, devices such as radios and TVs, and even some very quirky special effects. So that's enough of me talking for the minute. I'm just going to play what I've got on screen here. I've got a snare drum hit that's going to be repeated five times. The feedback is off and I'm going to play with this color with a few settings within it so you can kind of get an idea of what it sounds like. So you hear five hits. If I turn the wet down, you hear the initial, the dry. If I bring the wet in, you can hear the four repeats. Okay, so now I'm going to engage color. I'm going to go to room and guitar verb. And I can bring the mix in, kind of a spring reverb that. Let's go for a device, old phone, go for speakers, British amp, special effects, drone. So you kind of get the idea, there's, there's a lot in here. It's worth getting the demo and really having to play around with all this sort of stuff. But it's kind of something that helps add a little bit more colour to the delays you know um, a lot of us like to add a reverb or something after the delays to kind of give it a little bit more of an edge something a little bit different and it's coming to add uh, sort of like a drive a little bit of distortion as i said reverb chorus but these are kind of more like sort of tones that you can very quickly go oh that sounds different let's go for it instead of having to rack up a load of effects after the delay this lets you get going very quickly with some very very weird sonics but very creative at the same time Underneath colour we have the master filter section which is pretty straightforward as it lets you dial in the amount of low cut and high cut you want to apply to the repeats. Jumping over to the bottom left we have modulation and again this can be engaged on or off with the options of depth and rate. So we can push the rate in and the depth. Right so now I've shown you around the main controls let me show you what's going on in the middle of Relayer. The middle display and control area let you manipulate the repeats within the plugin. So let me start by making some more repeats. Let's go up to eight, just to let you know that this can go right up to 32 repeats. But I'm gonna start with, with eight, keep it simple. And I'm gonna pull the wet 
knob down a little bit so you can sort of hear the difference between the initial dry hit and all the repeats. So starting from the top left, we have time. All these parts of the chain, they can be turned on and off very simply. And the time display will let you change the beat or time divisions within the repeats. So as I'm already set to sync to host in my project, I can simply drag these levels up and down in relation to the values at the right. So everything's already set at one to one. So let me bring these all down at the beginning here. Just do it randomly. Let's have a little listen. Move some more. And at the bottom we have swing, swing scale and warp which help you sort of push the timing ever so slightly off the rigid tempo of the sync in the host which is quite nice as well. You may have noticed these green lines at the bottom here. This section is like a global view and representation of the repeats, which I'll get more in depth with as I show you around this main center feature. To the left of the display, we have something called presets, not to be confused with plugin presets, and this is for why. We can choose from a selection of pre-made value patterns that can be used in this central control. So if I go for... Sounds like something dropping down the stairs. There's another one. We even have a, a random feature at the bottom here for if you need a little bit of outside inspiration. Right, there's a transform section that can globally control all the values in the central section by clicking and dragging the mouse over each control. So we can see by this pulling this first one, it does it all evenly together, which is nice. We've got this one here, which sort of affects sort of the end of the, the pattern. You can bring it in a little bit. We've got this, which can pinch it all together, make the slope sort of less dramatic, pulling it in. So there's quite a lot of powerful tools that you can use here to try and get a nice sort of shape and feel for your repeats. So next along from time we have gain, select that. And this works just like how we were just using time. So we can actually affect the level, how loud each repeat is. I'm just gonna do it randomly for instance like that. Let's have a little listen. Let's bring the first one down. And again, we have presets we can always use. This will probably work a little bit better, this slope for the gain. And we can pinch things in if we want. All very useful. And you can see at the bottom here, it represents it in this like uh, this quick view for gain. Next along, we have pan with sub controls of spread and width, which can add a little bit more extra perceived width. So we can quite literally drag left and right all the way, hard left, hard right, and anything in between. So let's uh, let's have a little go with that. Something narrow to start with. Something wide, narrow again. Wide, wide. Let's have a little listen. Right now, that's starting to get quite interesting. So let's have a little go with the spread. So let's really push it out and make it narrow. And let's try this width. Really push that out. And again, you can see a representation down here in relation to the gain steps, the pan as well. So as you move along, which we're going to do now to FX, let's turn that on. We've always got a view of what's going on with the pan and the gain levels. So starting with FX1, let me play you through some of the effects straight out of the box. Now these work again in relation to each of these repeat steps that we've already been working on in time, gain and pan. So starting with bi quads, just going to keep everything as it is. And comb. Vowel. Wah wah. Oh, I like that one. Redux. and Wave Shaper. 
And again, we can affect so many things in here. I'm not going to go through it all, but you know, you can really go to town if you want to. Effects 2, which is next to it here, we can engage that, is the same as Effects 1. It's just there to give you the choice of including another effects within the chain of Relayer. So if you wanted Wah Wah on one and the comb on the other one, why not? You've got the choice. And last but no means least, we have Feedback, which gives us the control to manipulate the Feedback Sonics during or post the repeats pattern. So let's turn up feedback, so that's back over the left here, we ignored that earlier, and let's have a listen to what it does. Okay, so you can see as I've turned up the feedback, the display at the bottom, if it's off completely, it shows us the main repeats. As I turn the feedback up a little bit, it's going to show us that feedbacking, but in a slightly dull color. So if I turn it quite a few more up, gives us a good idea of what's going on. So we could just have a very short feedback. Let's try that. And again, for feedback, we have very simple controls. We have high pass, low pass, drive, drive type, but this is what's interesting, feedback tap. At the moment, I have it set to last, which means the feedback starts in time at the end of the repeat patterns. You can sort of see here, as the repeat ends, the feedback carries on. But we can select it to start earlier within the performance. So I'm just gonna hit play and jump across a couple of these, you just get an idea. It's easy just to play it and you can hear what's going on and me explain it. So let's put it on tap one. So that's kind of straight in line. Let's bring it to four. Six. Eight. Well, I'm going to keep using it on last. Now, I didn't want to demonstrate Relayer with a music mix. I thought it would be important to use a one-shot source so you could really hear and appreciate all the elements within Relayer. I like the way this plugin lets you design and shape the delay characteristics. It works very musically and offers so much within one simple plugin. So go get yourself the demo. I strongly believe Relayer to be one of those all-encompassing Swiss army knives of the delay plugin genre. UVI humbly state on their website, Relayer, possibly the last delay you'll ever need. Well, from my experience with it, I have to agree. Try it for yourself and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.